What's up everybody, welcome. In this tutorial I'm gonna to talk to you guys about creating our tables with queries. We've talked about queries, we've talked about keywords, where keywords, select keyword and from or etc etc. And in this lecture I want to show you guys how can you create tables using queries. For example in the previous uh, table example I showed you that how you can create table using MySQL commands. For example, we create, uh, we click here, we said create table and after clicking here, we just said, for example, ID equal, for example, ID is integer and uh, primary key, not null and uh, auto increment. Or I said here name and I said name is not null. Let me write one more. I will say surname. Actually, it is surname. Okay, and I will write here one more age. Age is, let's click this, age is guys integer and all of this except ID and age is where char. When you click apply, you can see this is actually query. And when you say, when you come here, when you right click and say create table after creating after clicking here, creating table, when you do your work here, your MySQL workbench in the background will run this query. Okay, but we will not use, uh, let's say, read things. We will just use raw material. Okay, actually, it is kind of like a raw material because if you just click here, your MySQL workbench will do this query instead of writing you okay and i don't want to use this this time i will just use i will make this by myself let's click don't save let's try to create new table i will say here with the all upper i will say create and table after writing here our two keywords here we need to write we need to give name to our table i will say employee and two Okay, employee two is my employee two is my new table. After writing this, you need to open and close parentheses. After clicking open and close parentheses, let's uh, write our column. I will just click here like this. Let's just sorry guys. So guys, here we need to say our rows or sorry, we need to say our columns and data types and also auto increment or not null or etc etc let me show you i will click here and i will show you here i create id name surname and age okay let's just click id now i will come here to this sql file 4 and i will say id and i need to tell type of this id i mean data type i should write here integer okay after writing here integer you should say if you want to write your ID not null or null. I will say not and null because let me come here. Let me just click to this. You can see I said this ID is not null. That is why I should write here. I should write not null. Okay. And because he, he, here I said not null. And I, I need to write also auto increment because I set here my ID auto increment. I will come here. Let's just close this i will come here and i will say auto underscore increment okay for now it is good but you can ask me that uh, here i have a primary key you can like uh, you can write like this primary key okay like this but i will not write like this i will write this primary key at the end you uh, just focus here for now Okay, guys, I wrote my ID. I said ID, type of ID is integer, ID is not null, and ID is also auto increment. Okay, let's come here and let's write another column, and that is name. I need to write here my comma, and I need to come here, I need to say name, and let's write data type of this name. I will say where chart. Okay, after writing where char, we should create open and close parentheses and we should say length of this where char. I will just write here 10. Okay, after writing here 10, I will say null. 
Okay, what this mal means, actually, I need to write here, sorry guys, I need to write not mal. Because this not mal, the same thing as here. You can see, I write here name, and I said name of this, uh, or feature of this name is not mal. And I wrote here not mal. Okay, and let's write comma again. Let's write again. I will say surname type surname also where char and open and close parentheses I will say 10 and the same thing not and not okay one more comma we have just one here uh, age but you can see here I said surname can be null okay you can see here default expression I gave here null I will remove this not keyword here and I will just say here null because surname can be null. It doesn't mean surname always will be null here. It means surname can be null. Let's write age type of age or data type of age is integer. After writing integer I will say here null because age can be null. So guys we have just one thing remains and that is primary key because I said here this ID is primary key. Let's write comma. I will say here primary okay and key let's open and close parentheses. Between this open and close parentheses you should write your primary key. In this situation my primary key is my ID and I will write here just ID okay and let's remove this indentation here. Also, let's remove here. Okay, guys, that is my SQL. Okay, guys, I think our SQL is ready. Let me go over from the concept. I said ID is integer, type of ID is integer. ID is not null. And also auto increment, name is where char and length of this name and length of this where char is 10 and it is not null. And I said surname is where char and null can be null. Age is integer. Data type of this age is integer and this is null. Okay. And I just wrote here primary K. So guys, how we can start this query? We should click here. You can see in here my actions tells that it is successful. But you cannot see here your table. Let's just click here. You can see you cannot see this here table. It's because it is kind of like of a uh, lock problem. Let's just right click here. Let's just click, click refresh all and you can see my employee 2 is created. I will click here and you can see it. This employee 2 is the same. Let's click here. This employee 2 is the same as employee 1. ID, name, surname, age, and also ID, name, surname, age. You can see I showed you how you can create your, uh, your tables writing queries. You can ask me that. It is so easy writing here. Just click create table and just cr create your table. And that is all. But you have to, let's click here. You have to get this. You have to understand this because in the, future maybe you will see tables and you need to change your tables but you you don't know how you can change your table or clicking just uh, this settings and create uh, change your table in this situation you will need to come here i mean inside your sql you need uh, you will need to change your code from here and by the way I highly recommend writing sql for creating table because when you write sequels we will get used to writing more sequels and that will help us to improve or improve us or improve our knowledge okay that is why i highly recommend creating our tables writing sequels not just click here because everybody can do it we need to get used working with hard things so guys i want to finish this lesson here in the next lecture i will show you much complex queries.